Another election season is upon us, and that can mean only one thing. I'm running for governor, and I want to tell you why. The return of the most radical skateboard dude in the known universe. <laughs> Beto France. Hold on, and I still got this daggone thing over here from when I did the, uh, <laughs> from when I did the Candace on, uh, reaction. This brother is on a daggone skateboard, going up ramps and all that. Sheesh. My great, he's, run. wow. Okay, brother. <laughs> now, after a failed run at the Senate and the presidency, Beto is now setting his sights on becoming the next governor of Texas. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. And what better way to jump wow. up and do Wow, this dude said, hell yes, we're going to take your guns. <laughs> You're damn right we're going to take your guns. Texas. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Wow. And what better way to gin up enthusiasm than to head to Livingston. Now here's where I should say I have nothing against Livingston. It's a nice town filled with friendly and welcoming people. I'm sorry, I'm not racist. Well, I'll take that back. <laughs> Well, I take that back. <laughs> I couldn't help wonder why Beto chose to hold <laughs> one of his town halls here, especially since Donald Trump oh won the county gosh. by 54 points in 2020. Now, Sheesh. I would have loved to investigate this matter myself, but considering that these organizations now have my poster up on a wall, in my stead, I decided to send a team of my finest to see what Beto and the town we're all about. Y'all hear that club music? <laughs> now, the first thing they noted about the whole charade was the venue. It was not exactly uh, huge. I mean, if I were to give a generous estimate, a very generous estimate, I'd place it at maybe about 110 people. Now, what the event lacked in attendance, however, it more than made up for with the kind of enthusiasm which can only be found in the most youthful among us. <laughs> so, are you excited about Beto? <laughs> There was also a lot of electric energy from other people. <laughs> yeah, wow. One lovely local summed it up uh, quite succinctly. Uh-uh, no, Beto ain't right. Of course, it's rude to show up to a party empty-handed, so my fine reporters decided to hand out some Beto-themed so T-shirts to show support. T-shirts into the building and okay. give them as a merchandise. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are those great? And go back to their home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so mean. That's so mean, man. You gonna hand out beta male shirts? Really? That is so mean, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Beto's staffers weren't so keen on the shirts being free uh, while they were trying to turn a profit. They were trying to sell them. Oh, but you shouldn't charge, like, some people can't afford shirts, though. That's true. Thank you. I know that. Yeah, so I'm that's just not, saying. I know. Really, before we have things that are okay. going on in the response to So you're trying to do a little bit of capitalism up in here. Down. Wow. So if you're doing a little bit of capitalism up in there, then that means that you're not a socialist man. They're like, bruh, you messing up our profits, man. We're going to have to take you out back and break your kneecaps or something, man. <laughs> we out here trying to push these daggone shirts. And you giving them out? What that look like, man? What out? That takes away all the value from our shirts. You giving out nice shirts? We trying to sell nice shirts, too. Man, you better go somewhere, bruh. Get off our block. Get off our block. It's about to be some white-on-white -white crime. What's capitalism? 
like generally people are like they're beta males, you know, like that are not good, but we think that's stupid, so we're trying to like subvert it, turn it on its head, be like, nah, beta's cool, yeah, and so we're beta males. Okay, like just kind of turn. I don't know. She got very mad. Yeah, yeah. I don't. What did she say to you? She was like. What she say that it no, was not a beta shirt or something. Yeah, it's not a beta shirt or something like that. It's not. It's not official. But the team wasn't it's just there official. to observe. Uh, we she wanted them to get to the meat of Beto's policies. Really get to know the man. Luckily for them, Beto couldn't resist the pheromonal allure of our Beto's bear. So, it sounds like you have such a great plan for schools and, and the trajectory there. Um, but I have a question, so that all that good work doesn't go undone, um, you know, obviously I want to be as inclusive as possible. But even last night when we were at dinner, somebody offered us drugs. And so I, I'd like to just hear, how do, you, how do you thread that needle of inclusivity, being welcoming, while also stopping some fentanyl? I don't know. I'd like to hear if you have <laughs> thoughts on that. I really appreciate the question. Oh, man. There's probably nothing more important than the safety and security of our communities, of our families, especially of our kids and, and our grandkids. We see under Abbott's failed leadership, violent crime going up, drug trafficking going up. When we're focused on pulling stunts. I can't believe you're a sick son of a bitch that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. And scoring political points, we take our eye off the ball in the real problem. Bruh, bruh, I almost missed that. I'm gonna say that and then they can sh literally show you doing what you're saying not to do. <laughs> you you are something else you know that bro you are something else man look at this right here this is him he's doing it he's doing exactly what he said don't do what dude and scoring political points we take our eye off the ball in the real problem where it is i give you some examples did he answer the question he didn't answer the question Remember when he signed the abortion ban? Uh huh. And Where's this going? Governor, you, you understand there's no exception for incest. For how do we get here? And like a deer caught in the headlights, he said, well, we're going to eliminate rape. <laughs> when I'm governor, we're going to focus on that, and public safety is going to improve in the state of Texas. Thanks for asking the question. Appreciate it. Oh, that was a lot of nothing. Quite a bit of talking. A lot of nothing. Let's give it one more shot. Hello. Hello, man. How you doing? Very good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Ruben Perez. Um, oh, sure. We're both Catholic, right? Yes. Okay. I'm having an issue real fast. My family, I think you're great. I want them to vote for you, but they're, they have the sticking point with the pro-choice thing. You know, we're both pro-choice. They're not. What do you think I can tell them to maybe help persuade them to vote for you? I don't know anyone who is pro-choice or pro-life who is happy with what we're doing in Texas right now. Ah, sh Here we go again. Maybe if he can bore his audience to actual death, he can guarantee their vote the next election. Beto's playing 8D chess. Speaking of death, Beto, it should be noted that we aren't your biggest fans, no surprise, but we do want you to be safe, so maybe invest in a better security team that doesn't allow random passers-by and camera people to walk up directly behind you and follow you backstage. Especially if the person in question is a grown man with pigtails and a t-shirt that simply reads autism. Wow. All right, that's enough. What are the good town? Wow. Wow. So basically, um, the gentleman never answers questions. He does speeches. And being a, being a lifelong politician is what he does. And he's a lifelong politician for fun. Either he's trying to make a name for himself, well, he already has. But and he's already probably very wealthy. Mm, he just want to play politics. 
Bro, that is probably the definition of entitled. Sounds people of Livingston, Texas think of all this. Do you think the personality of the candidate matters pretty dramatically? Definitely, more than any issue. In my book, if you can answer the questions that are asked of you, and if you don't know the answer, at least say, you know, I'm not sure on that. He's done that. That's what impressed me about that kind of uh, Obama, uh, I had three Biden signs, big ones, okay. stole off my property. Yeah. And I was more than willing That's to sit illegal. around and wait for him to show back up. Yeah. And do what? <laughs> You're going to whoop their tails. That's what you're going to do. So. Are you excited about Beto? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you uh, think he can do for the state that happens? Well, like we were just talking about, her her son, who is a lot younger, uh, was talking about, well, where's his big money coming from? Well, they all get big money. Right. And I'm more concerned about where the heart of the person that's getting that money is to begin with. That sign's f***ing amazing. <laughs> Did you get this sign? What's more important to you, the, the policy or the personality? Well, I would say policy. I think, like, freedom of speech, pro-guns, pro-life, um, closed border, so. The things that actually affect you and your yeah. We've been asking the same question to everybody we've interviewed, so I'm very curious what your opinion is. When it comes to a political candidate, which is more important, the personality or the policies of that candidate? That's a good question. I think they're both equally important. Uh, you, know, you look at Trump, you know, you look what he did in four years and they screwed with him the entire time because of his personality and because of his uh, policies. You know, if they'd left him alone, we would have been a lot better off, better off further along than we are right now. Uh, so I, I'd have to say both, honestly. Hold on. So one group wow. cares about policies while the other cares about personality and feelings? I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. I had a question, though. So, like, I know somebody that is here, maybe not briefly, and they need a procedure that's very difficult. Mr. Abbott has made it very difficult to do that. How, what can... Happen. Like, I don't, I don't know how to ask the question. I don't want to use the words. It's an, you would be in very big trouble under Mr. Abbott if you went to seek out that procedure. Yeah. Um, listen, I'd, I'd be happy to take a picture with you. Um, and while Beto Francis was understandably hesitant to answer yeah. my team's questions, credit where it's due, he was still gracious enough to take the time for a picture. He was like, y'all, 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 you, you, you gotta wake a little faster, Jack, huh? You gotta, you gotta wake up a little, little, a little earlier, huh? You gotta catch me sooner than that, huh? I, I was born at night, but not last night. With his new Beto Mail Bros. That's right. Look at this picture. This happened. So remember, when you think of Beto for governor, just think of this exact picture. I'm sorry, I'm not racist. Well, I'll take that back. Yes, I am racist. <laughs> y'all, please let me know what y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. And shout out to everyone who has been joining the LFR family live Facebook group and the discord that's in the descriptions below. Y'all are amazing. And all of my new friends on Twitter and Instagram, man, it's good to see y'all coming over and showing love and support. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. And I will be getting back to a lot of you guys as far as the messages that have been sent on those different platforms. All right. Love y'all.